I was only 21, so I could not buy the business because right. I was too young, she said. Okay. And from there, I decided to go ahead and start my own. And I started with the mobile because that's what I knew. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Houston Inside Out. And today I am excited to talk with the owner of K9 Mobile Pet Spa. K9 Royal Mobile Pet Spa. Uh, the owner is, uh, her name is Rosie. And Rosie is going to come out here in a few minutes here and talk with us a little bit about her business. I gave you some advice if you're uh, a pet owner. Uh, I am a pet owner. I own a dog and a cat. Somehow, uh, the cat got into my life. I still don't know how that happened. But uh, Rosie does an absolute amazing job. And I kind of wanted to have her come on, talk a little bit about her business, and then give you guys her information to um, maybe contact her. She comes to your house, all right? You do not have to go anywhere, guys. She'll come right to you. You just let her know where you live, and she'll come out there, all right? So awesome, awesome service. I used to take my dog to the pet uh, groomer, and it was a nightmare trying to get my dog in the car sometimes and trying to get him out of the car. So Rosie has eliminated that with her mobile pet grooming uh, service. It's an awesome service. She travels pretty much Houston, Katy, Richmond, uh, virtually anywhere, I, I think, within, um, within reason anyway. She's not going to drive to... You know, maybe two hours from here, but the service is absolutely amazing. So, Rose is going to come out here and talk with us a little bit. All right, guys, Rosie is here with us. She is the owner of K9 Royal Mobile Pet Spa, and Rosie is going to talk to us a little bit about how she got started, why she got started, why mobile uh, versus maybe having a, a physical location, and I uh, give you guys some advice as well. So, welcome. Welcome, Rosie. Hello. All right. So tell us why. Actually, let's start with how did you get into the pet grooming business? Okay. Well, Gotta get closer. For the pet grooming, when I started, I uh -huh. started after high school. Okay. And I started with another lady. She was mobile. Okay. She introduced me the whole thing, the whole business, business. how everything went. Right. And from there, uh, she sold her business. Okay. Um, I was only 21, so I could not buy the business because right. I was too young, she said. Okay. And from there, I decided to go ahead and start my own. And I started with the mobile because that's what I knew. So how, how many years have you been in business? We just turned six years in December. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So now you chose mobile because you knew it. Have you ever considered maybe having like a physical location or does this just work better for you? Uh, it may be a future plan, but it's okay. not... It's not my dream plan. I okay. love mobile. Yep. Reason being, um, one, we don't have to leave a dog locked in a cage right. all day. Yes. Uh, it's one-on-one. -on -one. We're in front of their house. They feel comfortable. It's more safe, less sure. risk of them having to be around other dogs or being attacked or anything. Right. And it's one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. I get to yes. build that relationship with them. Yeah. And, you know, people don't think, because I, I, I mentioned earlier that I used to take my dog to a location and getting him in the car. Oh, yes. Is a headache. <laughs> Getting him out of the car and then having to get him. It was just a, a mess. So I told people earlier that you have made life so much easier for me personally. And uh, I know a lot of people can benefit as well. So any advice you can give for grooming. Now, I have a big dog. Um, I know there's dogs. So is there any type of advice you can give for people as far as grooming goes, like timing or any yeah. anything that you can offer okay i have a uh the most questions are like for my fluffy dogs uh -huh. how often they should get done and you know it really depends on how much grooming you do at home yeah. if you feel like maybe grooming at home is too much for you because right. i know we're all busy yeah well then you'll have to use me a little more and we'll be there to maintain in between okay. when we do bath packages and we do full groom so however you're looking for yeah. we can get on schedules regulars okay. however you like awesome. and then for our short hair dogs uh, the main thing, uh, my main would be not to let the nails grow too long because it, yes. it hurts them when they walk. So that's how you know when you need me is yep. when their nails are already clicking yep. on the floor. <laughs> that's good because my yes. dog's nails hurt. Like he's a big dog. And so when he jumps on me, 
I know it is time. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> it hurts. So I didn't realize that it hurt them, though. It does because they push along the roof. And when they're ah. clicking on the floor, what you're doing is pushing your nail. Imagine wearing a real tight shoe and, just, and having long nails. Uh, it's just killing you. That, <laughs> yes. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's that's, exactly how it feels. That's good. So that's why they need to be trimmed because if not, it deforms their feet, their paws. Yes. Huh. Okay, I didn't know that. And I've yes. had a dog for a very long time. I had no idea. Well, you've so, got the maintenance. So now, that's, that's awesome. So, okay, so how can people get a hold of you? What's the best way to reach out to you? Okay, you can either call us or send us a message if we don't answer. And that's at 832-475-9964. Okay. And then you can also reach us on Facebook or Instagram. And you can look us up at Canine Royal Mobile Pet Spa. Okay. And then um, you can also... Um, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> And you can't miss the truck. So if you just happen to see her driving down the street. Where the big pink and blue truck. <laughs> you can't miss her. Just reach out to her. So Facebook, Instagram, I'll post all the uh, social media posts there so you can reach out to them. But they do an awesome job, guys. And uh, I will uh, get you guys all that contact information. Reach out to Rosie if you got questions. You need some advice. She's awesome. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Houston Inside Out. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. The pleasure right. is ours. We look Thank forward you guys. to hearing from you. Look for that truck, guys. K9 Royal Mobile Press Ball. Oh, you know, one other question. Come here. How far do you go? Is there a, is there a, a certain location? I'm assuming you're not driving. My main area, I'm all Fort Bend area. I go okay. as far as the Full Shear, Richmond, Rosenberg, Sugarland. Okay. I do parts of uh, Southwest Houston as far as the Bellway 8 South. Got it. All right. So you guys, if you're in those areas, reach out to her. I'll post all her contact information there. She's awesome. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Houston Inside Out. Thank Peace. You. See you guys later. <laughs>